Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this one's kind of funny. The scientists are just uh, figuring out now, from looking at modified remains of ancient humans, that heart disease was just as prevalent back then, if not more so, than it is today. And they can't figure out why it is people back then were dying of heart disease, and... Uh, people today are dying of heart disease. On a foggy day in August 1936, an anthropologist and his crew set sail for Kagermill Island, a small volcanic peak of hot springs and cliffs in the Bering Sea. A person identified as brown bear told them of a cave full of mummies and other human remains. Shortly... After landing, they found an opening in the rocks near a jet stream. According to most of anthropologists, Alice heard Licka, the cave contained wonderful riches. Space within the cave is limited, and, and most of it one cannot stand up, and none of it can use shovels. Must work like hand badgers, with hands like banjos. And it goes on and on. They found a bunch of uh, mummies there. And many of them died of heart disease. These scientists are just figuring out <laughs> that people died back then of heart disease. Duh! What do you think they died of? And a lot of them died of communicable diseases like Black Pig. If you look up history, uh... The average life expectancy in the Middle Ages was between 30 and 40 years. A lot of that, most of that was due to communicable diseases like the Black Plague. You can look that up. It's a fact of life. And the examinations of the bodies of Yunangans from Kagamil Island and other pre-modern people indicate in fact, the modern scourge of heart disease is not new at all, and the people who exercise more than we do as a matter of necessity and whose diet was free from modern temptations also suffered striking levels of heart disease, according to the researchers. They're just figuring this out, huh? In recent years, X-ray scans, based scans of mummies from around the world, including the hunter-gatherers of Cagamil's well as those from ancient Egypt, Peru, and the American Southwest found signs of heart disease or ethereal sclerosis, black lining of the arteries of the heart. Even the reconstructed man shown above who lived 5,000 years ago showed signs of ethereal sclerosis. Some mummified remains were discovered in the Italian Alps in September 1991. For years, scientists have argued over the extent of which modern diets ought to be blamed for high rates of heart disease. As the American Heart Association publication summarizes, there can be little doubt that the Western diet is closely tied to the development of ethereal sclerosis. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. This belief is widely shared, but has led to a fierce development debate over how, how exactly people ought to reform their diet. Many leading health groups, including the American Heart Association, have concluded that a person's heart disease risk depends on both the quality and quantity of fat in the individual's diet, and they urge people to reduce the amount of animal products, especially pork, lamb, and beef, that they consume. That approach is met criticism in recent years by critics who argue that instead of diet rich in proteins and low in carbohydrates, so-called caveman approach makes it easier to maintain a stable weight and metabolism. That's the uh, paleo diet. Hmm. 
I'm not into uh, paleo diets and things of that nature. This goes on and on. But these scientists have, are just starting to figure out people used to die from heart disease. Uh, does this say... What does this say about them? I could have told you that without doing any research. Uh, people died back then. Duh! They just died the Black Plague or smallpox or whatever. But in many... In the mummy researchers, including cardiologists who looked at such scans in living humans, noted the appearance of ethereal sclerosis in the CT scans in the mummies is virtually identical to the appearance of ethereal sclerosis in their patients. The similarity, they said, makes it unlikely that some change in the bodies has created the illusion of ethereal sclerosis. I mean, you don't want to sit on the couch and be a 500-pound blob. You want to get out there and do th get off the butt and do something. You know, you Just being a blob all the time. I get out hunting. Not that I ever get anything, but I get out hunting. Get off your butt and do something. I'm all for that. These idiot scientists can't figure out that uh, heart disease used to kill people, and it's still killing people today. Duh! This has got to be a real blow to these people, because they think that it's a modern diet and exercise that's led to this horrible scourge lack of exercise, and the people would all come down and shape up and eat why we'd be living in a golden age. How can they be so stupid? Bottom line is, uh, if you uh, eat all the good stuff that you're told to do and exercise, you might live a few months more. That's what I've heard. You live, on average, about three months more. So, as I've heard Rush Limbaugh say, get out there and enjoy yourselves. I am much more concerned with the assholes who are trying to kill us over in the Middle East. I would have taken care of ISIS uh, rather quickly. Quite simply, I would have used tactical field nuclear weapons on them and put an end to that immediately. I wouldn't screw around. Give me a phalanx or smaller at least. Give me a phalanx of spot bombers with some tactical field nuclear weapons and this would have been over with. I'm talking about the small mini nukes to kill with radi radiation. You just wipe them out. Say, okay, who's next? I don't want to get off topic. Anyway, there you go. Scientists are just trying to figure out that people in the olden days who ate the right diet and exercised still died from heart disease. Aren't they really pathetic? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.